For the last part of this problem, we're asked to determine the break-even point graphically by solving the equation p of x equals zero. We already found p of x, our profit function, in a former part of this problem. We found that to be 5.15x minus 1500. So if we set p of x equal to zero, then we would write 5.15x minus 1500 equals zero. It's the same thing we set up, same equation as when we solved algebraically. The difference is now we're going to let y1 equal the left-hand side of the equation and y2 equal the right-hand side. I've put that information into my calculator at left here. I'm on a standard window right now, which is probably not going to be very good for this problem. So let's go into the window and make some changes. So. algebraically that my break-even point is about 292. So let's go ahead and take my number of deliveries up to 300. So that's going to give us a window 0 to 300 for input. For output, output is profit. I can have in this case negative profit. In fact we know that if we don't sell anything we have a negative 1500 as our Profit. So let's put that as our y min. Actually, let's make that a little bit smaller than negative 1500, just so we can kind of see a little bit better. So let's go negative 1600, and then let's take a y max up to 1600 and see what that gives us. All right, so let's hit graph. We can see from our graph then that our profit function when our input is zero, so no deliveries, we have a negative value for profit, which we said before makes sense. My profit function is going to increase in a linear way. In fact, the slope of this function is 5.15. It's a linear function. And then my break-even point is going to be right here where the profit function crosses the x-axis. After this point, our profit would be positive and we would start to make money. In fact, if we change our window a little bit, let's expand our value for input to say 500. That should give us a better picture and graph. Then we can see that after the break-even point at um, profit equals zero, then we start to actually make money. So let's see what that point is. Let's find it graphically. So we're going to go second, calc, and then number five which was our intersect and then we're going to hit enter three times and we should obtain the same value that we did algebraically and we do 291.262 so in your work here on your paper you should be drawing a good representation of this graph and then round appropriately we decided 292 was the actual number of deliveries we needed to make to break even and then uh, write a complete sentence to reflect that information.